So I'm here with Jace Edwards. He's a member of the uh, Spokane Falls Community College. And Jace, you know, here you are. Season's starting right now. What things are you as an individual hoping to achieve? What things are you hoping to achieve as a team? Um, just being a lot more consistent this year. Um, just playing to win. Trying to do whatever you can to get, help the team. Try to get out of the individual like stats that kind of consume like a lot of like NWAC baseball, I guess. Mm-hmm. But just trying to devote like most of our time to seeing how we can help the team win. Now, last year, Spokane, you guys took third place in the NWAC tournament. Great showing, great run. You know, what things are you guys going to have to do to improve upon that and have a chance to go for the title? Um, just knowing we belong now, not like not trying to do anything special, just coming out and playing our game, uh, just coming with the same focus and preparation we have every week, I think will help translate into the bigger games down the road. And then, you know, here you are, you're at the college level, and, you know, that's a big difference from the high school level, obviously. What things did you personally have to adjust to and make changes as you got to the college level? Um, slowing down. Last year I was pretty antsy, just really aggressive early on. Um, swinging my zone this year has been a lot, help, a lot more helpful. Seeing the ball, just all the little things, uh, those translate the most since uh, college baseball, I think, from high school. Absolutely. And then, you know, to be at this level, you know, it takes a lot of work, a lot of time, but also takes people to motivate you. Who in your life has been that motivator and kind of that encourager to get you going this far? Um, my family is like such a huge inspiration and motivation in my life, especially my dad, my mom, my big brother. It's helping me like slow down the game mentally and try to make every like uh, negative thing happen like more of a lesson than just something that's holding me back. So they're a huge inspiration in my life. And then for a lot of players, as they're growing up, they watch certain players, certain teams, maybe try and mimic players at times, too. Is there a player that you watch and are like, man, I love how they attack the game. I love how they do that. I want to be kind of like that. Um, I love the way Javi Baez carries himself. He has a lot of fun. Um, I, I like, there's so many talented guys in the MLB, and there's so much that you can watch and learn from. I really enjoyed watching Gene Segura with my dad, just how good of a hitter he was, how he could hit a lot of pitches. I also like watching Christian Yelich, yeah. just that smooth swing. And it's just really nice to see. Yeah, truly a, a lot of talent at the major league level right now, even more than the last few years, it seems like. Last question I have for you, you know, you're at the ballpark, you always see kids running around. What advice do you have for that younger generation that wants to maybe compete at this level? Just hit as, hit as often as you can. Uh, there's no such thing as, like, not enough practice. So hitting wiffle balls, like, I hit a lot of wiffle balls with my dad. Like, just any, time, any way you can get swings in, watch your favorite hitters. And if you're in a slump, don't let it get you down. Just hit until you uh, until it trans- Translates. Awesome. Well, Jace, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate-